An ideal way to tidy up these gaps is using the gum tape, like this. Apply the tape equally on both sides and then using a sharp scalpel cut off the excess. Can you see how nice and neat that corner now becomes? As the gum tape dries, it will shrink slightly and pull the corners a little bit more tighter. Once all the sides have been attached, you've then got a nice, sturdy box. We can now pop Ted into the box. And now we need to decide on whereabouts Ted will sit in the box. Once we're quite happy with where Ted is sitting in the box, you can use wire or fishing wire or cotton. In order to know where we put the wire, we need to mark where we need to make some holes. In this case, we're going to mount Ted around his neck. To make the holes in the box, we'll use a needle to make a hole. Thread the wire through the first hole. Place Ted in the box. Wrap the wire around his neck. And thread through the other hole. And pull tight twist and box around holding the wire okay nice and tight at this stage Ted is now held in place by his neck okay we still need to fix Ted in quite firmly so we'll mark on the inside of his leg and just on the outside of his leg then use the needle to make the holes. Then thread the wire through the first hole, around the top of his leg, and through the other hole. Pull nice and tight, and then twist. Ted is now firmly fixed into the box and will not fall out. 
So now at this stage we need to put in the little title, Little Ted. And the easiest way to make a title in a box is use the computer, print onto ordinary parchment paper, attach it to sticky board, and then with the mount cutter, just nice and neatly bevel the edge. Once this has all been done, you can then stick it onto some foam core. Use the ruler to help place Little Ted's name in the centre. 